Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited for this review. It's the review of the new Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I know a lot of people probably have foundation fatigue with all the launches, but this particular one I was so excited about. I was patiently waiting for. So um, it comes in this little black box. The shade is on top. And this one comes in a squeezy tube. I'm pretty sure you've seen it all over um, social media. It would be nice if I can get it out. So this is what the foundation looks like. I love the packaging. I love a squeezy tube because I feel like I can squeeze everything out. Um, I didn't realize it came with a pump, so that's pretty cool. I don't know how I missed that. It has a pump. I also got the primer, the hydrating primer, and it is called the Soft Silk. So um, let's talk a little bit about the foundation. Now it retails for $35. Is it $35 or $36? I think it's $35. $35. It has a total of 32 mils. So you get two mils over the standard um, 30 mils. It was This was so easy because I knew my shade and the shades are comparable to the her matte foundation shades. And it comes in 50 shades, just like that. So if you're like me, I'm 410. If you're 410 in the matte shade, you're supposed to be 410 in the hydrating shade. I'm gonna do um, a swatch comparison of the matte foundation before I get into it. And just wanna give a little bit of um, specs on the foundation. So this is supposed to be hydrating because you know her last foundation was matte. It's a long wear foundation. It delivers comfortable medium to full coverage and it's supposed to be a natural finish perfect for normal to dry skin which is me but um, normal dry and combination can wear this foundation it has grapeseed oil and I know grapeseed oil is supposed to soften and like moisturize and plump your skin I think the primer also contains grapeseed oil is cruelty free and paraben free and stuff like that now for the primer it comes similar to her modifying primer and i wasn't gonna pick this up but i walked in and i saw it and it looked <laughs> so pretty and i'm due for a hydrating primer because my um ole henriksen primer is almost done so a little bit about the primer and then we're gonna jump into it because i'm so anxious to put this foundation on so this is supposed to be like a retouch primer and it's oil free primer it smooths away the look of pores visibly even skin tone and texture and instantly absorbs shine without feeling dry or chalky which is great i hate a dry or chalky primer so it means a smoother foundation application and a longer makeup wear time um, it mattifies the skin with the lightest possible feel for a full-on sensual experience. So it's just supposed to like create a filter like for your skin before you put the foundation on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the primer on and see how that works. Um, I'm gonna do, it's new, so it's taking forever to come out. Well, the pump is little and tiny, so I did, I think that was three, maybe a little too much, but, uh, and this, um, the primer retails for $32, and this one has, um, oh, this feels, wow, this feels so hydrating. It feels like a nice hydrating moisturizer. That's how it feels. It retails for, um, this is $32 and you get, like I said, a, a total of 30 mils. I love this. Oh, I feel like my skin is just being drenched with moisture. This is really, really good. I'm happy. Because I'm very, very particular about primers. This is really nice. And it smells, it smells really good. I don't know exactly what it smells like right now. <laughs> I have to think about it, but it smells really nice. All right, so I love this primer. When you touch it, it definitely feels tacky, which is perfect for 
putting foundation over so the foundation can grip it. It feels like so nice and my face does feel very, very moisturized and hydrated. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Okay, so now for the foundation, like I said, I'm in the shade 410. And this is the swatch of the matte foundation. So let's just swatch this one next to it because the sales girl was like, oh, I'm not sure when I did my shade this morning, it looked a little different. I'm like, what you talking about Liz? Like, nope, nobody got time for that. Like, I don't have time to be swatching shades in store. It's taking a while to come, okay. So, this is, looks exactly the same to me. Well, so this is the matte and the big swatch on top is the new hydrating foundation. Okay, so the new hydrating foundation does look a little bit more golden. And well, now that it's drying down, you know what? They're the same color now that it's drying down. So um, I don't think that's an issue. Maybe she found that, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just go ahead and start putting it on because I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna go in with, oh, the, the little spout is very tiny as well. So I put four pumps and I think that's equivalent to like two, two full pumps. Surprisingly, this feels thicker than the matte, than the matte uh, foundation. Well, at least to me it does. I thought it might be less, I don't, I didn't think it would have been thicker than the, um, than the matte foundation. And this is giving me like a, Full coverage. I mean, it says it did say medium to full, and this one application right now is definitely giving me a full coverage, and it feels really, really nice. Everything just feels very hydrating, especially with the primer, and the foundation is just clinging to the primer as well. Okay, so this is the foundation on my entire face and talk about hydrating. Like, I feel like I've doused my, like my face feels like I've poured water over it and, well, maybe not water. Like it just feels so moist and so hydrated. I didn't look at any reviews because scrolled in on YouTube, I did see quite a few people got it early and I scrolled past because I hate looking at reviews before I actually do a review. I would love to hear, and well, I'm gonna go look now because I'm doing my review, but if you have dry skin, you are going to love this. It's like, my face just feels so moisturized. And looking at this, it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. This is very, very skin-like. I know a lot of companies are doing the skin-like thing. Of all the foundations that I've tried that has claimed to be skin-like, this is the most skin-like. I love this. I am, wow. It feels so good on my skin. If you have dry skin, like I said, you're gonna love this. So anyway, this is what it looks like. It's like skin. It's so natural. It's really, really pretty on the skin, especially if you like a, you know, a skin-like foundation. If you have like really good skin, you probably just need like one pump over this. Anyway, um, I like to show the time before I go finish the rest of my makeup. It's now 11.21 a.m. So I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna come back with more thoughts on this foundation. All right, so I am back with the rest of my makeup done and of all the foundations that I've done so far, this is the best one. It's the best one. 
if you want a natural beautiful finish and you have dry skin or if, even if you don't have dry skin get this foundation and I would suggest getting the primer the two together is absolute perfection I did a full face of, of, of Fenty the only thing that's not Fenty is my lips so I did her concealer in 380 hazelnut all over the face powder I did honey powder under the eyes I did her contour stick my eyes are Fenty or highlighter blush everything and she killed this and knocked it out the park it's my it's 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 the best one it's my best review so far and i'm not surprised this was the one i was really really looking forward to i'm so anxious to see what other people are saying about this foundation it's absolutely beautiful and so natural looking wow I absolutely love this guys all right so I put it on about what 1130 something I had said 1127 it's now 1139 I'm gonna go about my day and I'm gonna see you guys later with my final thoughts on this foundation okay I am back with my final check-in it's now 724 p.m. I put this on about 1120 something so it's been eight hours of wear and this is what the foundation looks like looks so beautiful <laughs> it's so beautiful guys nothing has changed from my initial thoughts and it looks so skin like this is what it's like my skin but better my skin without the darkness hair or the little blemishes this is so beautiful I love this especially with the fall coming up like I had stated earlier if you have dry skin you are going to love this foundation and the primer this is such a good primer because what I loved about it because when I initially put the foundation on it looked really dewy and then you know I put the powder on and stuff like that but what I like about the primer although it feels like so high like it makes your skin feel so hydrated and it looks initially looks so luminous and it looks like like a really high shine moisturizer it does help to keep the foundation i think from slipping and sliding and from getting like really really oily i think that primer had a lot to do with it so if you're planning on buying this foundation if you can afford it i think you should grab the primer also it's it's fantastic well especially if you have dry skin I always check my laugh lines because that's like a big concern for me and as you can see I got no creasing in my laugh line it didn't separate or anything like that this is how my laugh line would usually look they're very deep I'm shiny on my nose and it doesn't even look greasy or disgusting it looks like a nice glazed donut kind of um, thing going on it's so pretty and it feels so light. It's like I'm wearing nothing on my skin. This is like the lightest, airiest foundation I've used in a very long time. I just love the way my skin looks with this foundation on. This is so naturally beautiful, guys. Um, it's fantastic. If you bought this foundation, let me know your thoughts in the uh, down below in the comment section. But it's really, really, really nice and. The shade match is the same as um, the matte foundation. So this is this is an 11 out of 10. It's to me, I like it better than her the pro matte, which I love, and I love this I love this primer so much. This is probably gonna be my go-to primer. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much um, for watching this video and. All the sweet messages and comments I got on my last video which was kind of a terrifying video to do um, I appreciate it so much you guys are so amazing and so kind and so thoughtful anyway guys I am going to see you in my next video bye guys